Uh, any plans for logic objects and ignition? You need a way to perform simple function block, ladder logic, or structured text programs to manipulate tag values instead of difficult scripting. So uh, this sounds like it was written by someone who is on the engineering side. Um, you know, we, we work with a lot of control systems and integrators who are uh, mostly engineers as opposed to folks who might have a lot of experience with scripting. I certainly don't think our, our scripting is difficult. I, I should throw that out there. However, that said, if you didn't grow up with scripting, if you've never written scripting in the past, if uh, your company has a skill set that is heavily on the ladder logic side and not on the scripting side at all, it can certainly be daunting to get started with any kind of scripting. Uh, I think our scripting is a bit more accessible than most of the other packages out there. Uh, but still, uh, your question is a good one. The we have a logic engine inside Ignition. Uh, it's uh, called Sequential Function Charts, so SFCs. We have an SFC module. Uh, basically, what it does is, um, and actually, this is another good chance to pull this up, since I can just give you a visual aid as I'm going along. Uh, you can have different items that are transitions. You can have conditional items that are inside here, where basically you're selecting tag values, and I can say, you know, if a certain tag value is over a certain point, maybe ramp zero, um, and we're going to check if ramp zero is greater than 50, then it's going to go down this path right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it might have some sort of action that happens after this. So it goes into that action block right there. If it's not over 50, then we could have another condition that's running in parallel that runs to a different action block that's happening right here. Um, all of these blocks can come back together at the end, and this could just run through uh, directly in a single moment, um, or this could uh, run through, um, you could actually have a loop through, so you could have it so it never actually ended, it just went back up to the beginning over and over again. Um, you can have different jump points and have it jump from the top to the bottom, for example, and uh, so so this is the logic engine behind the scenes uh, that we suggest using for that type of thing. We do a lot of our simulations for a demo project, for example, inside here, PLC simulations are really that you need some sort of feedback from are really uh, good to do inside here. Uh, this is, each one of these blocks is driven by scripts. Uh, and so these scripts right here, uh, basically, generally speaking, if you're doing this, these are going to be super simple scripts. So you might do a system tag read here, and then you pass that in a tag path, and then you uh, re, you know send a result or you do a write that's a result of that. Um, so you do have some scripting that's involved here. <coughs> Excuse me, but generally speaking, you're going to be much. It's going to be much easier to see what's going on in, in terms of execution, and then also to copy and paste these blocks in different places if you want them to do certain things. So you could do an XIC right here, right? Um, basically, um, or you could do that that type of thing, examine if closed, examine if open, um, and do that type of thing, translate it into simple script um, inside here, conditionals inside these, and scripts inside here. Um, but as I said, these, these would be simple scripts as opposed to writing an overall script that would do all of this in one big script block. Um, so I, I think SFCs are one of the great features that we have. They're also uh, safe for redundancy. So if one of these stops part way through, if a redundant server uh, fails and it switches over to the other redundancy, um, it's going to take over right where this uh, stopped, right, right where it uh, failed basically. Whereas the script is going to just stop running wherever it was. And then if the triggering um, happens on that redundant server, then um, it'll be triggered again from the beginning. So this is a nice way to do long running tasks as well. Batch processes are often run through here inside Ignition, um, you know, full, full type of batching systems um, in order to run things maybe in parallel that need to happen at the same time. You can have multiple blocks that are, are going down. If a certain condition is true, then you can come through and, and run these specific parallel operations here and then have this run out to some sort of an end block there or jump to somewhere else. And yeah, th since these are parallel, they're all going to be happening at the same time. You can have multiple actions, and multiple transitions directly inside these blocks as well. 